Aloha, I'm Athena Angelique with Such Good Dogs. Today's trainer tip, we're gonna go back to basics and talk about how to walk on a leash. I am outside of a client's house. They have a puppy named Wrigley. She is a Rhodesian Ridgeback. She just turned 16 weeks, so she finally got her last parvo shot and is now off her quarantine. The vet gave her her freedom to go ahead and go out into the world, which is a very exciting time to get your puppy off quarantine and get out and about. So today's appointment, we're gonna be going over some walking. Now, even though we've gone over this before and they've been practicing in their little quarantine zone sort of backyard, it's, it's a different thing when you take it out in the real world. So some basics for how to teach your dog how to walk on a leash. This is what we call loose leash walking. Basically, what we're teaching your dog is loose leash good, tight leash or tension on the leash bad. Loose leash good, tension on the leash equals bad. That is what you're trying to teach your dog. So the way this works, anytime your dog pulls in front of you, from a diagonal like about 45 degrees or in front of you, you're gonna do one of two options. If your dog pulls to the side of you or behind you, you're going to keep moving forward. Okay, so there's two options. You're walking along, the dog pulls. Option number one, you stop and wait for the dog to move in a way that releases that tension on the leash. When that happens, you keep walking. Option number two, you're walking along, the dog pulls, there's tension on the leash. You're gonna say, let's go, and go off in the opposite direction. Now, the main thing you need to teach your dog how to walk on a leash like this is patience. You have to have a lot of patience going into this. That's all you really need is lots and lots of patience. Now, I always get clients that come back to me after trying this and they say, we literally went, let's go back and forth in the same 10 feet outside of our house. We didn't get anywhere. That's okay. Physical activity, very important for your dog. Mental activity, more important for your dog, okay? So when you're first learning this, it is better for you to allow your dog, or for you to take your walk and go back and forth in the same 10 feet so your dog is not pulling on that leash outside of your house than it would be for you to allow your dog to drag you for five miles, okay? That is the importance of a proper walk. Loose leash walking. Okay, two options, stop and wait, or let's go and turn. I guarantee that if you stick with those two options and that's how you do your walking, your dog will be walking nicely on a leash in maybe a week or less. But you have to be consistent with it. Have to, have to, have to, have to be consistent with it and have lots of patience with it, okay? So we're gonna get going with Wrigley in a few minutes here and we're gonna take some video and see how her and her dad <coughs> her and her dad are doing on their loose leash walking. 